Saying KJ? Yeah, how you doing? Right. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Living Life Fast. Uh, so, Alpha GTV? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, this one's it's quite an a special car, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's got Alpha, Alpha GTV um, 916 model. It's got the engine from a Fiat Coupe 16 valve turbo. Right. It's fairly heavily modified. It's running about four, uh, well, it's running, I can't say about, I know it's running 440 horsepower, okay. around 400 foot pounds of torque. And um, you actually run a tuning company, didn't you? Yeah, that that's it? right. And you're top, yes. yeah, voodoo tuning. Voodoo tuning, yeah. yeah. And what do you specialise in these types of yeah. vehicles? Yeah, so I specialise in the in Fiat Lancia engines, the twin cam engines. So the, um, they, the ones used in the Fiat Coupes, the 16 valve turbos, the 20 valve turbos, you know, the five cylinder ones. Right. Also Lancia Delta Integrales, Alpha 155 Q4, etc. whatever had those engines. Yeah. GTV, and it's originally a twin spot, you say? Yes, yeah, that's right. And, and you've had an engine swap so you've got the 16 valve turbo which yep. is from like a fiat coupe, from coupe so, yeah. yeah from fiat coupe right. okay so. so you say it's a 440 horsepower it's got mm -hmm. the 16 valve turbo and is, is the engine built to produce that power yes yeah yeah it's fully built I, um i built tuned mapped it all myself um a lot of the a lot of the parts there are built myself as well okay so yeah what is it you've done to sort of harness that power because i've driven like a i think a fiat 20 valve i think it was about 300 horsepower yeah and that was quick man yeah you know what I mean? Yeah. And it spun up as well. Yeah. So um, what, what's this like then? You know, have this... you done anything with suspension, brakes and stuff? Or... Not really. I mean, the, the, the Alpha GTV, it's just, it handles really well anyway. Okay. And even with the power, it's still really sure footed. Mm. Brakes, I did, um, I did change those because the stock brakes are a bit shocking, even, even on stock power. Yeah. But they're running um, V6 discs right. with, interestingly enough, Renault Megane Sport calipers, Brembo okay. calipers. If we'd have gone for Alpha GTV Brembos, then it would have meant changing the hubs and all sorts of stuff. So it was actually yeah. easier to do it like that. So what's the braking like then? Is it transformed the car? Is it a lot better? Yeah, a lot better. Yeah. It'd be nice if I could add it, if I could add a, a larger master cylinder. There's a lot of brake pedal travel. Okay. But it yeah, it brakes so much better. Like Maybe. you don't feel not when I'm driving at 70 miles per hour, because you know, obviously I never go above 70 on the mo on the mm. motorway. Um, <laughs> I yeah, you, you know that it, the car will stop. Right. You know. And then what about suspension, stock suspension, LSD or anything like that? Ah, uh, the coupe, the six, the, tur the coupe turbo engines all come with their own sort of LSDs. Um, yeah. It's called a visco drive. Okay. So it's got its own um, viscous coupling. Uh, that really does transform the handling. Yeah. So, so. Is, is it, does it spin up? Yeah, you can still spin it up, yeah. but it's a lot better with it. Like, um, um, these they're quite front heavy even the GTV which is better balanced is still a bit front heavy yeah. they like to plow into corners is the engine whereas, over the axle or is it before the axle it's a bit bit in front but yeah. it's you know fairly cent centrally planted okay and in GTVs the um, the fuel tank is right behind the the, the front, the front, well, sorry, right behind the back seats. It's not on the floor like most okay. cars. Right. So that helps with the balance because it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. it's okay. pretty much above the rear axle. And but, what, what, what about the wheels? Are they, they're not standard wheels, are they? No, they're, um, uh, I didn't, I basically, I just wanted five spoke, I wanted some five spoke 17s and I just went through eBay and went, oh yeah, this look pretty good. Yeah. So yeah, Ryle, I can't even remember what make they are, but yeah, Ryle 17 inch, um, 
five spokes, yeah. literally just because they look good. Interior wise, anything going on with the interior? Yeah, the um, the front seats you'll see, some people will probably think this is sacrilege, but I swapped out the le original leather seats for um, some bucket seats. Okay. I uh, forget what make these are actually, this is fairly old. Boost gauge is up there as well. Yes, it? yeah, essential. So I've got boost gauge on the right, um, oil temperature and oil pressure as well. Mm -hmm. Any any Fiat Coupe owner you, um, will know that you, you just develop a paranoia about, Fiat, about oil pressure. Okay. All right, KJ, shall we go hit the road? Yes, yeah. Let's yeah, do it. Let's do it, man. So, uh, KJ, um, we touched briefly on your tuning. What uh, is your background in it? So, um, well, my sort of background's in electronic engineering, but the whole uh, tuning thing, it came kind of from necessity, really. To read all the magazines, like Revs and, you know, Fast Car magazine and all that. I was like, oh, I want to do all that stuff. Mm. Is there any, like, boost limiting? Because I know the engine's built. Sorry, you mentioned it's got 400 foot-pounds of torque. Yeah, uh, a lot yeah. of the cars, uh, on the channel, the, the torque's normally capped. Yeah. So because of the internal work, you're obviously good to push it. Yeah, that's right. And that's really important to me because, um, like you said, a lot, of, um, a lot of people, understandably, they want to run standard engines like because, you know, it costs money to build yeah. an engine. Uh, but you end up having to limit the torque and it's the torque that really accelerates you. On this car, I've kept a pretty simple, really, like basic old school, um, um, boost control it. In your face. Yeah, that's it. Smoke. So, just the next skin going. Actually, yeah, nothing there. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. What about fueling? Is it, does it need a 99 run? I run super unleaded, but I purposefully, I purposely run um, just like cheap super unleaded, like Sainsbury's, you know, Sainsbury's super unleaded. Yeah? yeah, and it's fine for the car. Yeah, it's perfect. Like, so what, like 95 you run it or uh, yeah, uh, what is it? I don't know what's there. What's their super under? Is it 98 maybe? Right. You can run 95, like the way I've mapped it. Um, I can run 95, just not a full boost. So, so the car's 1300 kilos yep. and uh, 440 horsepower. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, you can see uh, when you're initially putting your foot down, it wants to go, doesn't it? Yeah. The interior, though, it's like nice and cozy, isn't it? The seats are comfortable. Yeah, these are right close to the floor as they can be. Mm -hmm. they're Sorry, how long has the engine actually been built? It used to be in my Fiat Coupe originally. So I built it probably about seven years ago, maybe. Oh, geez, it's a monster, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not very often I get to do this. You know? <laughs> the steering wheel's big, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, fairly easy to drive, though. Yeah, definitely a heavy clutch, very heavy. It's quite heavy. Um, yeah. But it's accurate, you can use it pretty easy. Yeah, loving these boost gauges as well. So what have we got up here? Uh, boost so, pressure. Yep, boost pressure in bar, then oil temperature and oil pressure, or oil temperature in the middle. It's almost like it's gonna die, isn't it, on the revs? You've got yeah, to rev you, it up, haven't you? you got, yeah, exactly, you got to rev it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever rode shotgun in this or? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll take it easy, man, I'll take it easy. But yeah, no, it's pretty comfortable. Yeah. Um, yeah, very comfortable actually. Uh, brakes are good. Yep. Nice and sharp. Obviously, the car's pretty light, isn't it? So it's going to stop easier. Yeah, compared to modern cars. I mean, yeah, that is that's, really that's got a nice grabs onto the discs. Yeah. Bit of lag. Yeah, it's got quite a high um, boost threshold. So when does it kick in? Do you know. Uh, full boost is about four thousand. About four. Sorry, about four and a half thousand. You start going Not fast. Bad. About four thousand. Well, let's have a little go here. We'll um, pop it into second. Yep. And, um, so yeah, 4,000 RPM. Jesus! <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that, that, that kicks in, man. But these, like, known for the handling, you say? They're good handling, right? Yeah, really good handling. Um, I'm pretty sure these, like, I'm pretty sure I've seen this in Max as being one of the best handling Cars. So yeah, the wheel's nice and light. It's not like heavy, like you know, cars of these kind of age normally have really heavy wheels. Yeah. No, but this is uh, reasonably light. And it's oh. it's light, but it's still like attached to the road. Like you feel like you're driving as opposed to modern, you know, a modern car, which you know you don't even know if the wheels are attached to the road. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is a strong power, isn't it? 
It's, really, it's funny because like, when I'm driving, I'm, if other people are like, oh my god, I'm, 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 I'm not doing anything. It turns out it reacts. The car actually reacts nicely to the wheel. Mm. The body follows the wheel. Nice. Yeah. Like even a bit of torque steer. Yes. <laughs> oh man, you can't beat those noises though. But yeah, you built the engine, so like you say, it's going to be reliable power. Um, but yeah, it's obviously not great weather. Definitely better to be on the track right now. Yeah, yeah. We've got a national speed limit bit here. Put my foot down. Let's, I want to try a second, man. Second feels pretty brutal. If you light up the wheels, it tends to chew up CV joints. Like, right. I, 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 literally, the car goes through CV joints like sweet. So I change, have to change yeah. them, like, <laughs> at least one a year. Man, that is sweet. And it does stay nice and straight. And you're saying this is stock suspension? Yep. Wow. Because yep. even the R32, I was in a supercharged R32 the other day. Yeah. And that car had like way more movement like at these kind of speeds right now. Yeah. Was it? It's a, you know, Man, modern, this is sick. <laughs> modern cars, you know, they're, they're big and heavy and tall. And yeah, yeah, that's what it is. It's the weight, isn't it? That's yeah. why, because this does feel really nimble. Wow, <laughs> man, that's a that's a satisfying power, that man. But yeah, it feels really light, nice, man, and um, surprising how nimble it feels. It definitely feels nice and tied down. It almost feels like it's got a set of coilovers on it. A bit of nerdy stuff on the suspension. The rear rear suspension on the um, GTVs is um, independent. Uh, it's like double wishbone suspension. With, it's got inbuilt passive steering as well. So. Right. Yeah, yeah, it cool as well. Wow. <laughs> man, that is... I'm being surprised by my own car. That is violent, man. That is so violent. <laughs> it's not It's not spinning that bad. Like you say, it's just a bit of modulation. Let's see what it's like here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm going um, to put it up over here. I'm going to swap back with you. But yeah, that is... Oh yeah, man, that is quick. <laughs> Definitely something different. Uh, one of my friends, he's a massive fan. He'll be just like crying right now, <laughs> knowing the fact that I've just driven this. Yeah, KJ, man, I think I'm gonna end the video there. Yeah. Uh, once again, thank you for letting me take your yeah. pride and joy for us. I know Thanks you love this car. <laughs> no, no, that's all right. Uh, do you want to plug your company? Like, yeah, where so, you're based? Um, yeah. So it's Voodoo Tuning. That's um, Voodoo-Tuning.co.uk. Uh, Specialise in. Um, Fiat Lancer engines, so that's the Fiat Coupes, uh, Lancia Delta Integrales, Alpha Q4, Alpha 155 Q4s, also Cosworths as well, like Sierra Cosworths, um, and also old school Mark 1 Clio Williams, Clio 16B, Renault 19 16B. So if you need tune, if you need mapping, if you've got turbo, turbo conversion, supercharged conversion, throttle, throttle bodies, whatever, yeah, hit me up. Cool, man. All right, man. Uh, so, guys, as always, if you did enjoy the video, remember to smash the thumbs up. Also, consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.